Hey everyone, Nez here. Before we start tonight's show, thank you to everybody who's subscribed. We're now over 100 subscribers. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, if you like what we're doing, hit the like button and leave us some comments. We really do like to read them. So, here's tonight's show. Hello everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Beer, Toys and Banter, the number one YouTube channel where you see two northern halfwits discussing beer, toys and having a good old banter. I'm Dunny. And I'm Nez. Right Nez, what beer have you got for us tonight mate? Well, I've got a cracking beer tonight Dunny. Um, after we uh, we had our special guest on, Keith, uh, on, uh, on May the 4th, uh, that was the first time I tried a, a stout and I decided to stay with the stout. So this one's called March of the Penguins. Right, I've seen that. Um, I've never tried it. It's um, it's Williams Brothers Brewery from Alloa, Scotland. Uh, and let's be honest, some of our favourite breweries are, are in Scotland. Absolutely. Brewdog, um, Innis and Gun, uh, to mention just a couple. So let's give this a try. Where have you got that from, mate? One of my favourite sounds. Uh, this was bought for me as a present, so I'm not actually sure where this came from. Nice. Well, it's definitely dark. Is it a chocolatey stout, or is it just a... It just says on the bottle that it's a creamy stout. Right. Yeah, very smooth, really creamy stout. It's not as thick or as bitter as, say, um, Guinness um, or some of these uh, double stouts or indeed Imperial stouts, uh, but it's it's nice and flavoursome. It's uh, it's a real good drink, that. You, you enjoy that, because I know you like stout. What percentage is that? It's 4.9, so again, you know, you could enjoy a few pints of that quite easily, no problem. Cheers, Dunny. Cheers, mate. Yeah. So what uh, what beer have you got tonight, Dunny? Uh, I've been... I uh, went to Tesco this week and saw some really great beers, and I've got uh, a beer from Salt Brewery, which is in uh, Shipley, and it's called Jute. It's a session IPA. I've nice. got to admit, one of the things I go for is the cans. I, I like a can. I like the colour of the can. So that's quite good. It's uh, it's 4.2%. 4. 4. Uh, so we'll give it a go. It says it's unfiltered, which, you know, me and you love an unfiltered beer. Beautiful. I mean, it's like we've both said before. Years ago, if you'd have poured that, you'd have sent it back, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, and I remember you going on about the, the New England IPAs. A lot of them are unfiltered. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're becoming my favourites now, to be honest. So again, it's a citrusy, citrusy smell. Oh, again, mate, that's, that's really good. It's well, we're doing well. We're doing really well, aren't we? It's because there's, there's, there's none we we've actually liked. We don't like. No, no, this, it, it's very much, uh, it's not as strong as flavour, but it, I'd go, it's, 
It's very much uh, like a neck oily flavour, just not as strong. That's a very, and that were on special. I think they were a three for a fiver. Great. Which is, which is remarkable. Oh. So that's what I've got tonight, mate. Salt Brewery in Shipley. And it's a jute session IPA, 4.2%. Good health. Cheers, mate. Right, what toy have you got for us this week, pal? Well, I've got a toy that I'm really, really looking forward to uh, opening. Um, I missed out on this when it was released, I think sometime last year. I'm going to say the summer of last year. Um, it's, ja it's the Jabba's Palace Adventure set um, from the Vintage Collection by Hasbro. Um, and so when I was looking online for something to buy, um, I had a look at these, and the best price I could pick one up in this country was £79. Uh, and just out of sheer curiosity, I went on ebay.com rather than ebay.co.uk, and I found a place, a, a, a seller called Lipinski Trading Company. Um, and to get this um, and get it shipped from the USA and pay the prepay the, the import duty, uh, it was just under 60 quid. Wow, that's crazy. So I know, I know it's, it's, it, it's, um, it's only 20, 20 quid, but you know, 20 quid is 20 quid, it's another couple of figures or something. Yeah, of course it is. So I'm really excited to, to open this because not only am I a big fan of play sets, but there's also two corded VC figures included in this set. Um, but before before I open it, just take a look at that box. More than any of the modern vintage collection, if you know what I mean, rather than the vintage, yeah. actual vintage stuff. It, 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 the packaging is superb. It just looks as though it, it, it's from that original vintage collection you know, from the 70s and 80s. That wouldn't look out of place uh, with if, if you're a box collector, which I'm not, with all your box vintage, um, you know, real vintage 70s and 80s stuff. Absolutely beautiful job uh, of the packaging there. Go on, so, get, it, get it open, mate. Let's get it open. So straight away, nicely packaged. You can see there. Yeah. And um, and the first piece that comes out is the wall from uh, Jabba's Palace, where Han Solo and his carbonite block hands hangs, and you can see that. Uh, They've put in the two creatures, the tone tone and whatever else this thing is at this side, uh, that were in the movie. So that's a that's a nice piece in itself. And um, next thing you come to are the two figures. So the first one is Han Solo with his carbonite block. So you've got the option of using the carbonite block or Han, uh, newly freed from, um, from the carbonite. That's good. Man. And, then, and then the second one is Reeves. A nice uh, Jabba's Palace figure. Um, and then to complete the, the plate set, there are two, I'll just put one on the floor. Two more pieces of wall with the arching, and um, I think this can go together in a few different ways. So you can either depends how you want to display it. You can either connect them like that, uh -huh. so you've got an arch either side, or if you're putting it say in a detail for something, uh, and it's doing it that way would be too wide. You can put it together. 
like that. Nice. So you've got an arch on each side, or you can even do one of each, have one going that way and the other one at right angles like that. Now, what I believe from reading some reviews of this, so I'm now going to open this BC figure, is that um, this carbonite block is actually, mag it's got a magnet inside it, so you can, yeah, there you go, hang him oh, on the wall, nice. just like in Jabba's Palace, and you can press a little button on the back, and it, and it moves down slightly, so it's, it's down to the floor level, like it does in the movie, so that it can... Uh, Boosh can really layer good. deflecting, or you can pull it up again like that. So, a nice little place, and I think in a detail with all the right characters in it, you know, Boosh at the front here, and um, you know, some more of the Jabba's Palace um, aliens, and so on, and maybe you know, Jabba peeking in through the side there, like they've got on the box. I think that's a beautiful place. Um, a lot of money, I guess, for a for a playset. But don't forget, you yeah, get well, getting two getting two figures. These these VC figures are thirty quid. Uh, uh, sorry, fifteen quid a piece. So there's thirty quid worth of figures in there. So I think that's a really nice playset. Yeah. It's really well detailed. It's got some good play features for kids. It's got some good, you know, ways of being able to display it differently for collectors. Nice and detailed, even on the back, um, you know, you've got some pipe work up here and all that kind of thing. Um, for me, um, and sometimes I can be, you know, um, highly critical of, 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 um, of Hasbro, but this uh, is Hasbro at its best. This is an absolutely fantastic play set. And, I, love, uh, I love the way the hand in carbonate can swing. I'm over the moon with it. I think it's absolutely amazing and easily one of my best purchases of this year. Mm. So that's 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 what I've got, um, Dunny. Um, it's the uh, Jabba's Palace Adventure Set. Um, it is by Hasbro, uh, but on the other side, we've marked it up as Ken. Um, so it, as, as I said earlier, it will fit in with any real vintage collection. So that's what I've got uh, today. What about you, Donny? What are you uh, talking about? And everybody who's listening or watching this, if you've got that playset, tell us what you think about it. Leave some comments below. Uh, you Absolutely. Know, Please do. Join in. I don't want this just to be about us. So I've actually, I've got the Escape from Death Star game with nice. free talking. Now, as you know, I've, I've already got Tarkin, so I wasn't going to buy this, but I got this at a bargain price from Zavi, and if you include the uh, Zavi uh, red carpet, which gives you free shipping for 12 months, and you use the discount code, you actually get this delivered for £12.99. Amazing. And then you've got six, 12 months free shipping on anything else you want to do. So, let's have a quick look what's inside. So again, it comes with the retro collection Tarkin, which I'm starting to really like these now. So obviously I've got one loose and I've got one there. Comes with the usual usual board. We need to have a do at some of these games, right? Yeah, we should. So it comes it's with a bit tricky to do it while we're well, social social distancing, but Soon as all this is over, definitely we should have a Star Wars games now. And it's usual. It comes with your with your cards, your counters. I presume there are your your characters. 
and your your as I like to call them spinny thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's virtually identical to um, to the original game that came yeah. out in '78. Yeah, but like I said, for for twelve pound ninety nine, including the talking figure. Yeah, absolutely. Bargain. I thought it was a great buy, including a target a talking figure of twenty quid. So, and that's what I paid for mine uh, many weeks ago. Yeah. Um, or a month ago even uh, now I've left mine in its shrink wrap because I, I've got a, a, a talking loose but I've left that in its shrink wrap because I just thought it might be um, interesting to keep all of a set, a, a set of retro figures and the game which obviously is part of the collection um, mint yeah yeah, the, uh, I am. I'm really looking forward to getting that that uh, seat, set two of these because I'm really starting to really like them. And as you know, the, these have gone down in Amsterdam. I think they're about eight pound, eight pound something for the for wave one. So it's a great. Yeah. yeah. But again, everybody, if you've got this figure, if you've got the game, leave us some comments below. Don't yeah, also, if you're looking forward to Wave 2, uh, which includes another game, it's the Hoff Battle game, uh, which comes with an exclusive uh, Luke Skywalker snow speeder pilot, which wasn't originally done in the you know the, the original 70s and 80s vintage wave. So that's going to be another cracker. Uh, if you're looking forward to them, put that in the comments. Tell us why you're looking forward to it. Uh, we, we, we love reading them comments, we really do. Right, that's all I've got on tonight's episode, Ness. Have you got anything to add? No, I don't think I have, mate. Um, two great toys there, done it, and two great beers, as usual. Um, so that about wraps it up. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next week on Beer Toys and Banters. Take care, everybody.